Hello Aquarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Val 33 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current, or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. cards out first and then I'll begin. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I feel it. There's definitely something trying to grab my attention. And we'll see how this move goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes moving forward because I cannot ignore what I'm feeling. Yeah, I can't ignore it. Yeah, I can't ignore it. Um, you're kind of throwing your hands up in the air today, Aquarius, and I'm like, um, I'll try, I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Um, yeah, yeah, this, this is, this is quite an energy of, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll save it for the clarifiers. I'll save it. Okay, jumping into this. I see how this is working. Um, I see the differences, that's for sure. And then I just heard someone say, I wish I could say the same. Well, jumping into this, what you're showing me, there is something here that is causing you to become emotionally distant and cold. I do see that this energy of distance and coldness is making it very difficult for you to kind of see what the future holds for yourself as well as possibly the situation between you and someone. I do see you are doing what you can to kind of rest, recover, take it easy on yourself, doing what you can to stay grounded, especially as well as centered. I do see that there is possibly some type of commitment, relationship, or possible marriage here in place that a lot of love has been given to. A lot of energy. There's also possibly a living situation. And now I'm going to say it. This is lining up with Leos. They, they showed me the exact same thing about a relationship at home in a living situation, something going on. Um, not necessarily, well, I'm not going to go into it too much, but not necessarily the same as yours. But what's different about yours is definitely some type of decision that you are making. And again, there's a lot of energy here about resting, recovering, and kind of spending time to you to kind of make sure that you're okay. Make sure you're right. Make sure that you're good in a sense. Um, at the same time, I do see that with this decision, there's a strong consideration of when to kind of take action for things. And so it's an energy of, let me try and see what I can kind of see. And for some reason, there's a, there's that decision and then unfortunately, there's also that devil energy showing up at the end of this saying, okay, how risky is this? How risky has things become? And that's the message that came out before was, um, should you stay or should you go? Should you stay or should you go? Which one is it? Are you going to emotionally walk away completely for good? Or is it an energy of just for now, I'm going to kind of distance myself and become a little bit more reserved to kind of see what I see. I feel like that's what it is. Um, but if that's the case, what you're saying is I need to kind of distance myself from the situation, from everyone to look at it from a different perspective or get a different angle at it. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. Let's see.
Yeah, like I just said, Aquarius. You're distancing yourself and you're wondering like, what is the truth of this whole situation? What is the truth? I want to know what the truth is. What is... What is all this? What is, what is everything I'm looking at? And that kind of goes, ties back around full circle to that uh, comment I stated of, I wish I could say the same. I see the differences. I wish I could say the same. Say something to not say something to say something to not say something um goodness this is an energy of hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah you you kind of what geez what is that energy called i'm not gonna say bulldoze because that's the that's the not the correct term but it's an energy of, I don't know what the truth is, and I'm going to kind of just push forward anyway and find out the truth. And if I need to stay on my ground, I will. With the Seven of Swords on top of the deck. Yeah, you're strongly considering your future. Yes, you're strongly considering your future. You're going to pave your future. You're going to pave your path. That's what you're doing. Like, I don't know where this is going, but I'll find out. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but I'll find out. Yeah, that's, that's how you find out. Like one way or another. Um, that's how you find out. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Regarding the commitment of the possible marriage. It feels as if things are slowly being put behind you. I'm not too sure exactly what that is. But it feels like maybe it's just a matter of something needs to be said or discussed about the commitment or about the marriage. And then it's kind of just done with and kind of just like, okay, I said what I, I said my piece. I said what I had to say. Let's move forward. Maybe that's what it's all about. It's kind of just airing things out, getting things out in the open so that in a sense, everyone's on the same page. Everyone can't turn around and be like, well, you didn't tell me. Be like, I told you. Yeah, but mm, I told you. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You're coming up with some sort of idea here for a path. I'm not too sure exactly what that could be. Um, but it feels like you're coming up with some type of idea for the two of you kind of to kind of uh, move forward with. Someone's like resting, taking it easy, thinking about something, kind of having an idea. Like, oh, maybe they're going to want to run forward with this idea or utilize it. Yep. There's a decision here to make. <laughs> two. There's a decision to make after the decision you make. <laughs> oh, Wow. It's like, let me consider, let me consider the paths. Let us consider the paths. But at the same time, it's also like, what do, what do you want to commit yourself to, Aquarius? Because what you're saying is, I'm, I'm making a decision here for a new beginning. The question I do have is, is it with them or without them? Is it something different regarding something else or... Kind of feel like at the same time what you're saying is whatever this new path is i'll kind of along the path i was gonna say um geez louise it's it's like a riddle or a puzzle box the energetically what you're showing me it's a riddle and a, a puzzle box yeah, it, this is what's fascinating is this new beginning, you're also saying, yes, along the path, I'll make my decision of whether or not this is what I want to truly do or commit myself to. At the same time, when you make that decision, you sit with it. Guess what? There's still that same energy with that two of swords showing up of ah, now I look at both my paths and I don't know. 
It's almost like you're at a fork in the road and you're kind of stumped by both options or just by what's going on. Um, hence the um, doing what you can to see what you can see. I see what you're showing me, but yeah, I get that too. I get that too. Um, yeah, for the sake of, for the sake of, I, I need to figure this out for the sake of others. Others, yeah. You're filling it out. I like this though. I, I like this because you gaining perspective is kind of bringing back that emotional energy. It's like, okay, well, this is something to kind of work with. This is something, this is something that is more than what I had before. Even though that's a little harsh to say, it's a little more than what you had. Like I said, how you started this off was you were emotionally distant and cold and reserved, but because you wanted to find something out. And then when it comes down to, who. And then when it comes down to it, it's like, okay, let's slowly bring those emotions back in. Um, yeah, you're going for a spin. You're going for a spin. And I don't mean that in any type of way. You're going for a spin emotionally. I don't exactly know what extent or in what context truly um, or how, but you're ultimately saying that regarding the situation and everything going on between you and them and the circumstances, um, it's really putting you in this place of, I don't actually know where I'm at emotionally. I don't. And that's beginning to kind of, unfortunately, dig in there, dig in, dig in there and well, kind of cause you to face these emotions and face these feelings and kind of work through that to determine which path you truly want to go down or travel, whether it be by yourself or whether it be with them. But there is that. Goodbye.